From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, let me at him. Let me at him, let me at him. I am fired up today. I'm going to try to control myself throughout the next two hours. It is Sunday, the 18th day of July, 2010. We're here six days a week, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. We have a lot of news. There's been a big truck bombing in Mexico, part of the drug war down there. Uh, they claim now that they're four days into a successful cap. I pray this is the truth. BP has lied in the past, but let's cross our fingers and say a prayer. We've got a lot of big developments on the economic front and with the uh, war drums being beaten for an attack on Iran. And there's also a lot of news about the federal government just shutting down whole websites without a court hearing, without an indictment. Uh, no judge, no jury. They shut down a blog with 70 plus thousand users on it because they didn't like the speech on the site. Uh, that's in the mainstream news. but They report it like it's a good thing. Uh, we discovered last Wednesday, but weren't sure till Friday, that our official Facebook account was deleted, reportedly for a Gadsden flag that the Founding Fathers used. You're not allowed to show the Don't Tread on Me snake, I guess, on there. And uh, the owner of Facebook calls, the founder of it calls his users a bunch of dumb effers. Oh, they think I care about their privacy. They trust me. What a bunch of dumb Fs. We know Facebook and Google and YouTube are bad news, but those are the dominant sites. That's where the people are, so we're there. I'm going to cover all the news today, but uh, the attack on the First Amendment and free speech globally is numero uno, and this cybersecurity takeover, the open announcements that they do want to censor the web. Uh, Friday, a listener pointed out that the top searches were Lindsay Lohan and Mel Gibson and not even the BP oil spill. And I pointed out that in the past, my films like Endgame, Terror Storm, The Obama Deception have been the number one search on the web, and that that made a lot more sense than it being Lindsay Lohan. Or it sh the top search should be depression, because we're going into one. So I said, why don't our users go out and Google the term The Obama Deception to make it number one? And uh, Friday and Saturday, it was number one. More than 20 newspapers and blogs wrote big reviews of The Obama Deception, even though it's been out for a year and a half. Uh, there are hundreds of versions of it up on YouTube and Google and other video sites, but there was one version on a director's channel. We don't have a director's channel. That was only allowed at the beginning of YouTube and six years ago, and people that have them still have them. And so there are several director channels that have posted it all in one part, not broken up in ten parts. And the video had gotten 6.5 million views, or it had 6,400,000 and change Friday. By Saturday, it had gotten 100,000 additional, uh, well above 6.5 million, uh, about to be 6.6 .6 million. And so it had another big push. And at that trend, I've learned to be able to gauge YouTube, it probably would have had another million views in a week or so because it was the number one search term. People did a great job getting that out there. But, but more importantly, in the last few months, if you search the term Barack Obama or Obama or President Obama, not the number three link, it had been like that for a year, the number one link on the World Wide Web on Google and Yahoo was the Obama deception and a link to that mega viral video with 6.5 million views and growing. So when you, school kids type it in for a school report, college professors, politicians, news people, whatever, you type Obama or President Obama or Barack Obama and it was the number one link. It was hacked, and it was taken down off the director channel, and it, it, it shows, you know, done by user. That's what a hack is. They go in, and once it's deleted, it's gone. The 6.5 million views is gone. All the tens of thousands of websites that are linked to that video, it's a dead link now. And so, of course, now when you type in Obama, it's the Obama girl or the White House. It's not our video. So that's why the establishment did this. I have no doubt that it's an inside job from YouTube or Google, one of their employees. Uh, I mean, this thing was number one. They were panicking. And, and remember, this was the YouTube presidency. I mean, you go to the White House YouTube site, their videos get like a 1,000 viewers. My average video gets about a half mil. And so they're concerned about this, and this is sabotage. This is criminal. But we're not going to just lay here and take it. When we come back, I've got a battle plan, a mission for you. If you choose to accept it, we'll kick their ass.
Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the Info War. Coming to you live, ladies and gentlemen, from our Central Texas Command Center. The front lines of the resistance for free humanity. I am Alex Jones. You know, if you look at the landscape of radio talk show host, of newspapers, magazines, websites, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, my syndicated radio broadcast, the films, all of them are number one. I have the number one and two biggest alternative news websites, much bigger than Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and all their sites combined. Just one of my big sites, and I have two, Prison Planet and Infowars. When you look at my online political films, I don't just have several in the top ten political documentaries online. I have basically all of them except for Loose Change, and I produce that. We're bucking the trend. We get people concerned worldwide, not just here in the United States, about things other than Mel Gibson and his domestic disputes and Lindsay Lohan and her drug problems. Uh, and what's happening uh, with, uh, you know, some serial killer from the Netherlands. We talk about hardcore issues here that affect you and your family. And we are growing exponentially. The growth curve is straight up right now. And the system knows that. Now, to be technical, I've, I've got a bunch of other news coming up. But to be technical here... There's a director account on YouTube that had a copy of the Obama deception on it. We allow anybody to post it anywhere on the web that had 6.5 million views. When you type the name Obama or President Obama or Barack Obama in, it was the number one link on Google and Yahoo. That was before we had listeners promote the term the Obama deception to make it the number one trend search Friday and Saturday. A whole bunch of newspapers reported on the film Saturday, someone hacked into the director's channel, probably YouTube themselves, and deleted that film, The Obama Deception, and my newest film, Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA. Luckily, we were Twittered about it by, by listeners and were able to call the director who runs the director channel to get it, uh, him inside there to change the passcode before they took all the videos down. The point is, this is a serious federal crime. This is a hack against this film. This is an attack against everyone's free speech. I came in last night to shoot the video. We're about to premiere here, the video and audio, where I lay this out. Then we're going to come back after the break and get into more Internet censorship that's going on. Here it is. My friends, there has been an assault on the First Amendment and free speech. The Obama deception has been erased, obliterated, censored, put into the memory hole. Why is this important? Well, it deals with the First Amendment and free speech. But this hack was illegal. These people went in and somehow got our passcode and deleted this film and other documentaries I've made so that you don't have a right to watch it and make up your own mind. Now, there are hundreds of versions of the film online, but the number one video that changed the channel on YouTube had 6.5 million views. And something strange was happening. 
it was accelerating, getting close to 100,000 views a day. When you search the name Barack Obama, President Obama, or Obama, the number one link on Google and YouTube and many other major search engines and sites was my film. Not Lindsay Lohan, not the BP oil spill, but the Obama deception. But it wasn't just the number one link when you search the president's name. It was the number one trend on Google for several days, and it was growing exponentially. Then the YouTube channel was hacked and it was removed, along with my film, Police State for the Rise of FEMA. There were over 25 newspaper and major blog reviews on Saturday, July 17, 2010. Luckily, one of my webmasters happened to be writing a story about the fact that the Obama deception was getting hundreds of thousands of views a day and was the number one trend being searched on major search engines. So within 15 minutes of it being removed, we were getting Twitter pings telling us it was down. So I called the director's channel, who we work with, and I...